Today at Harp and Guitar, we're going to be learning how to play Catch the Wind by Donovan on guitar, harmonica, and vocals. Catch the Wind has an interesting time signature, as well as a great bass chord rhythm to cover on guitar. Then we'll look at some harmonica melodies and solos covering the intro, bridge, and verse sections. We can use a capo to change the key to match the different harmonicas. This is what Donovan does, and we'll cover that too. We'll also talk some quick shot, but we're going to kick it off with a full demo of the song, so you'll have something to jam along with while you're learning. I'm George Goodman, and I'm a harp and guitarist. And I want to help you sound great on guitar and harmonica. Join me and learn some great songs. We've got the chords and harmonica tabs covered, but we'll dig a little deeper. We'll also count out the rhythms, choose the right key harmonica, and learn where to find the sweetest or dirtiest notes are on the harmonica. Right on, let's go jam some songs. files including harmonica tabs for today's lesson you need to be a harp and guitar member sign up is free go to harpandguitar.com click on free sign up enter your first name and email and i'll send you a link to your free members area where you'll find the chords lyrics and tabs for dozens of great songs including today's lesson so catch the wind is in the key well we're going to do it in the key of c donovan does it uh, original recording key of e flat i'll show you how you get there later but we're going to start in the key of C because he does play it in a C form, just using the capo, moving it up to a different key. So C and our our, uh, our t 
time signature is 3-4. So that means we have three beats and a quarter note gets a beat. So we got three quarter notes. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's the, uh, that's the rhythm idea. So let's start with the C. And we're going to voice it, change our voicing here a little bit. We'll take our fourth finger and put that on the first string in the third fret. That makes the note G, which is the fifth of our C chord, C, E, and G. And uh, one, two, three. So one, we're going to play a root note or a bass note. One, two, three. And two and three, we're going to play chords. And we can play eighth notes as well. Let's do one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So that's our rhythm. We're going to do that kind of thing throughout the whole song. Okay, so let's look at the intro. It's going to go like this. So we'll do a bar of our C. One, two, three. Then our second bar, we're going to do a hammer on. We'll do our take our second finger off that fourth string. Right? We'll do a D to E hammer on right on the downbeat. And do that's our second bar. So one, C, hammer on. Then we go to F. And this is F with that G. We're going to hang out. That G's going to hang out for this whole song, except for like two bars later on. But you can just glue that down there for this whole song, except for, like I say, two bars. Uh, so this makes this uh, chord F add nine. G, if we're stacking thirds on our F chord, if we got to G, that would be our ninth. So this is F, F major add nine. And it sounds cool. So. Okay, so back to back to our beginning here. So we got a bar of C, hammer on, F, so F, strum, and then we're going to go E. So we're going to move, take our, our third finger off F here, and move our second finger up onto that fourth, uh, fourth fret, fourth string, second fret. So that's F, F, E, so F, and then we're going to take that right off. So that's D. And as we do the D, we're going to go to the chord G. And then we'll do so the strum. And then three, B to C. Okay, let's take that over again here. C, hammer on, F, E, D, B, C. Then we're going to go right to F, F, B. Intro C hammer on F E D B C F E C G. And we'll also be using a little walk up from our G to a C. We'll use it uh, a bar of this. It'll go G A B C. Okay, and then we're into it. Okay, so we got that. Let's move on. Let's get into the verse. Okay, starting off C. Now we're gonna go C over G. We're gonna put a G in the bass. So we're gonna move that finger, third finger there, from our fifth string to our sixth string. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we're gonna go to our F at nine. Playing the F with our thumb wrapped around there. That might take some practice. Okay, so that's our first four bars. So we'll do that. Let's do that. In the chilly hours and minutes of uncertainty, I wanna be. Alright, so we do that twice, then we're gonna go C, G. F and then to G. C, hammer on, G. Walk up to 
C. And we're into the second half of the verse. We do that again. F. C. Over G. F. To G. To C. F. G. So right off that, right after Catch the Wind, it's right into F. E-C-G So checking out the bridge comes after our uh, second verse, second uh, Catch the Wind. It goes directly into D-D-D-D-D, uh, which we'll put a harmonica on, but it goes to F. Two bars of F. And it goes to E minor. We'll play E minor. Well, we can just leave that finger, that fourth finger, just hanging out, hanging out on that high E chord, high E string on the G. So we do two bars of that. And we go right back to our F. And then we're going to go to D7 with F sharp in the bass. And this time we're going to get rid of that finger. We're not going to use it this time for two bars. And then we're going to a G for one bar and then we're going to take this G and we're going to take a little hammer on we're going to do a, a D to E hammer on so let's just do that <laughs> let's do that again then we're going to do a little from our E we're going to do an E to F hammer on and then we're going to take it and do another D to E hammer on so like this Maybe not quite like that, maybe like this. <laughs> Get the idea? Into the rest. <laughs> right on. Okay, so what were we doing? So we do the let's just do the bridge again. Right? Starting on F. Add nine, F, F major add nine. One, two, three, one, two, three, D, E minor. F again, D, 7, G, hammer on, hammer on, hammer on, end of the verse. Right on! I am playing my Black Takamini Acoustic Electric, model EG541SC. It has a spruce top and NATO back and sides rosewood fretboard with inlaid abalone dot markers. The electronics include pickup, preamp, and built-in tuner. On harmonica, I'm using a Honer Special 20 in the key of C. I'll also use a D here as I show you how we move it around. I got an Easy Rack Pro harp arm, Easy Rack Pro, Kaiser Capo. Hey, and you can check out harpandguitar.com forward slash store find everything you need to sound great on guitar and harmonica. So let's put some harmonica to this. We can get some right off the intro. Okay, so that is the chord C. We're using a C harmonica, first position. Now, if we're playing that chord C, anywhere you blow, blowing out on the harmonica produces that chord C. A note in that, a note in that chord is C. So we're blowing. Most of the time when we're playing the chord C, we're blowing. So we'll start the melody off. This is what we're going to do. So we start blow five to a blow four, blow five. When we get to F, F is our four chord in a key. Key of C, C, D, E, F. F is the four chord. Uh, our notes are going to be draw, draw five is the note F. So we go to a draw five there. Uh, draw six, another note in the chord F. We got a blow four, blow seven, those are also in the chord. So, we'll 
hit the F, we're doing a draw five, then we're gonna do a blow five, and then do a draw four when we hit G. G in the five chord. Draw two, three, four. Blow six, draw seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's just try this again with some blow fives, blow four on the C. Draw, blow, draw. And then we get to C, we get to go to a, back to a blow. we're drawing see we're blowing right G we're drawing cool okay so we can also take the bridge and put us put uh, put that melody to uh, the harmonica so where we go we start with an F right As we said, F being a four chord, the note F is draw five. So let's start with that draw five. We go to E minor, that's the three minor chord in the key of C. We got a blow five is the note E, so that's a great note to go to. So that's, let's do that. So we go from our F draw five to our E minor, which is blow five. We're gonna go back to F, so we'll go to draw four, blow four. So let's try that again. I'm gonna go to the D7, we're gonna go to a draw four. Blow five, draw four. Then we hit the G, we're gonna keep drawing. So let's Come back to our F and take that again. I missed something there. Let's do that again. There it was. It's the D7. Okay, to the G, and when we're on this G, we do the hammer on the E, we can blow an E, which we know is blow five. We do the F, it's a draw five. So let's try this whole thing. Okay, so that's kind of how we can put that together. Right on, right on. So the last part, let's put this, um, we can take the melody for the uh, verses too. What the heck? Let's do that. So, most common note, melody note in this whole song is that G that we've been playing, we've been pegging up here in the chilly hours and minutes of uh, right. That's that note, G. Really common note in this whole song. So let's play that. That's gonna be blow six. So that goes blow six, draw six, blow five. We get the F, we're doing draw five, blow four. Draw five, blow five, blow four. Back to C, our one chord, just a lot more blowing. Blow fives, blow four, blow five. 
get to F, we're going to do a draw of five. G, we get to a draw of four. Get to C again, we're blowing. Right? It makes sense. We know when these chords are, what we're supposed to be looking for when we're on our one chord. Yeah, we're blowing. When we're on our F chord, well, we got to draw a five. That works good all the time. Draw a six will work. Blow four works good too. So we're kind of, if we're not playing one of those, we're passing to one of those, right? We might throw on our F, we might throw a draw a five, and we're going to blow four. We may throw a blow five on the way. That's not part of our chord, but it's a nice passing tone to a note in our chord. So that's the kind of way these melodies all are put together. Okay, so we can go through that melody here. And the second time, uh, that we can change it up a little bit. We can take it higher. So. Right, so we go up to a blow seven. So from our blow six. Just throw in a couple blow sevens. On our F, we'll do draw six, blow six, draw five. Right, back to our draw five for our F. Draw six and draw five are notes in our chord. Blow six is a nice passing tone to them. So we go from a draw six, blow six, draw five. Okay, so that's how that works. So let's just play through that once slowly and uh, you know, you get the tabs. Cool, right on. So Donovan did not record Catch the Wind in the key of C. He played it like these chords. He played it just like we're showing you here. But he played it, the uh, original recording, he played in E flat. So if you took your capo and you put it on the third fret, that would raise the key of the song from C. You keep on playing C. That's now, now I'm in E flat. Gotta keep that one on there. So in that case, you would use an E flat harmonica. You'd stay in first position and uh, move up with that. Okay, so um, if you want to play along with his original recording, you can do that. He's also live versions of him playing it with the uh, capo on the second fret, which puts us in the key of D. And so you would use a D harmonica. So we just swap out our harmonicas here, get it right, right way up, and then... Just a D harmonica. All we have to do, same same blow and draws, we just swap out the harmonica. So that's moved it up two semitones or a whole tone from C with no fret, no capo to D. Uh, so capo on the second fret. Okay, so we can move that all around just to uh, make it, uh, if it fits better for your voice or if you only have a harmonica in a particular key, then you can uh, you know, use the capo to move it around. All right, so that's Donovan's Catch the Wind. A lot of good stuff there. We had the uh, key signature, time signature, right? Three, four, a little different than what maybe you're used to. We had uh, a, a neat uh, bass and chord rhythm thing going on there on the guitar. Uh, some different kind of chorus too. Maybe that F wrap around with the thumb is a uh, different, so that'll take some work, but that's a neat one. And uh, harmonica, put some harmonica to the intro, bridge, verse sections, right? And uh, um, learn about uh, where these notes or where these chords are, are on the harmonica. So our one chord is, you know, always, we're always just blowing if we're in first position, right? Our four chord is always in the same spot. Five chord, draw two, three, four, right? Cool. So when we're on those chords, you'll notice playing the tabs. Oh yeah. I want to see, I'm blowing, right? That's my one chord. Okay. 
Cool. So we did that. Uh, we talked a little shop, right? So if you're looking for any gear, go to harpandguitar.com forward slash store. And uh, like all my recommendations are there. Okay. Shop in there helps out, helps out Harp and Guitar and helps us keep on making some great, great lessons. Right on. So thanks for joining me. Cool. See you in the next one. Thanks for hanging with me and visiting Harp and Guitar on YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give us a thumbs up. But we're going to kick it off with a full demo of the song to have. Uh... But we're going to kick it off with a full demo of the song so you'll have something to join. <laughs>